Hi, Jen here from Jen Michelle Coaching. And what I wanna talk about today is how to reignite the chemistry. We've all been in a position where things were just amazing in the beginning. He was pursuing, he was leading, he was making it happen. And we felt just on top of our game. We felt amazing. We felt like the number one priority and really like he just couldn't get enough of us. And then suddenly the dynamic starts to change and seemingly out of nowhere, we're picking up the ball. We're calling him, we're texting him, we're trying to make it all happen and remind him that, hey, we're here, we're around. Perhaps there's more talk about the relationship. There's more conversation about tension or what has changed or where his mind is. And all these behaviors just cause him to disconnect more and more and more. So how do we shift the dynamic back to those early stages, those early months of him being in his masculine energy, really actively pursuing us and us being able to just completely lean back in our feminine and receive in a way where we feel on top of the world, where we feel just completely loved, cherished, and like a priority for this man. So today I wanna to talk about that. And we've all been in this position, right? So we've been on the receiving end of it where a guy's really into us and he is almost too on top of it. And it comes off like pressure. We start to get turned off by it and as a result of that, of course, the attraction increases on his end and he can't wait to pursue even more. And so it's, the very, it's a very similar dynamic when he pulls away and we start to really apply the pressure, it's a turnoff. But on our end, it kind of also ignites the chemistry, the sexual attraction for sure. And so being able to recognize that dynamic and being able to silently shift it by being in our feminine energy is really what gets things back right where we want them to be. So I want to talk about the three ways. And the number one thing that I want to talk about is not denying the dynamic. So often we'll make excuses. Oh, he's working. Um, he's been working a lot. He's been under a lot of pressure. Um, he's had this going on or he's had something going on within his family and will deny what is. And so we continue the same behaviors because we're not willing to admit that in our heart, something really feels different. And so we just delay addressing it because we're scared and we don't want to really own the fact that something has shifted and really empower ourselves to take steps to actively get things back right where we want them to be, which is completely possible. And I'll talk about ways to do this in steps two and three. And so number two is getting the focus off of him, which is counterintuitive. And I talk about this a lot, meaning we want to kind of laser in and we want to solve the problem. We want to get our focus on him so we can figure out what's wrong and we can make him show up the way he was in the beginning and everything would be fine again, right? The problem is it doesn't work that way. So getting our focus off of him means that we are not going to solve this problem by using logic or reasoning or strategy or being inside of our heads. The way we get our focus on ourselves is we're really into our body. We enter our body, giving ourselves permission to let go of any of the thoughts and reasoning explanations that are circling around, tempting us to delve deeper into. Going into the body means finding things that really, truly fill you up and that ground you, that anchor you into the woman that he fell in love with in the first place. And that could be a regular exercise practice, um, a regular meetup group that you were a part of, um, maybe joining right now during this time, different Zoom communities and diving into learning something new or getting your focus on anything that just speaks to you so you're not lasered in on him and what he isn't doing. Because as we start to fill up ourselves, everything starts to shift. We start to approach him 
from a very different energy, not an energy of feeling wounded, of feeling like same thing's going to happen with whatever happened with the last one, you know, self-validating stories that don't feel good. We start to take action from a very different space within us because when we get the focus on us, we start to really feel into our worth. And when we feel it energetically, we just show up very, very differently. And trust me, he will feel this shift. It is not something that we can fake. It is just a really powerful way of letting him know that you're valuable without sharing it verbally, without saying a word. And consider with masculine energy men, action speaks so much louder than words. And number three, opening our heart to new possibilities. And this doesn't mean to start going on a bunch of dates or pick up a new relationship type of thing. It just means to be so open to everything around you. So open to men who, you know, want to pay a little bit of attention to you or noticing that people notice you. Um, it also means just being open to all the energetic gifts that are available to you. And this allows us to really tap into possibility without having to have this one thing work out the one specific way we have in our head. When we open ourselves up to possibility, it's like saying, okay, there's a million different ways this could come into fruition, yet I don't have to have it this certain way only. I'm open to getting what I want in so many different forms and so many different ways. And by opening up ourselves to it in this way, possibility is created. And it can be so beautiful when we surrender to letting go of how it has to look or how we need it to look, how beautifully things just fall into place in ways we never thought even possible or even occurred to us. It's just really, really beautiful. And it takes just that deeper surrender and that willingness to say, I'm gonna let go of trying to control this and feeling like I've got to spearhead it. And we go into the deeper part of ourselves that already knows that we deserve what to have what we want and that we're so capable of having that brought into our life without having to manage it. So. These ways of shifting then pique his curiosity in a really, really powerful way. He suddenly starts to notice that you're not laser focused on him. Um, he's got room to breathe. He's got total freedom. And the beautiful thing that happens is when a man feels he has total freedom, he suddenly doesn't feel like he wants total freedom anymore. He doesn't need it the same way he did when he felt like he was being sort of controlled or managed, so to speak. So this is a really quick way to start making some changes that will ignite the attraction and intimacy again quickly. It's just a matter of tapping into ourselves and noticing that so much of this love and relationship work is counterintuitive to the sort of reaching and clinging type of things that we need or want to do when we're feeling fearful, when we're feeling anxious, and we're just feeling stressed that things have changed. So sending you so much love and wishing you amazing outcomes with your love and relationships. And my website is jenmichellecoaching.com. Please download my um, complimentary guide there, Magnetic Sensitivity. It's got all kinds of tips and tools related to this very subject. And I will talk with you soon. Have a great week.